Yeah, I slept with her. But we was on, I met her when she was 16. You, did you, you ask this girl to run away from home? I don't know. Get out of my face with that. I was sitting there First of all, do not address me that way. Do you understand? <laughs> One of my boys come walking by like ski slope around. I was like, what's he doing around here? They're like, looking for you. Pipe down for a second. Pipe down for one second. This is the way he's always acted? This is the way he talks and addresses people? Man. This is the guy that you fell in love with? That you? I mean, I'm five seconds into this guy, okay? Five seconds, and I don't like him already. <laughs> Grace, you seem like a nice girl. You seem like a smart girl. I met this guy for five seconds, and you threw away everything that you had she for had this? Shut up. I had my you know what scares me? You need to really, like, grow up in a hurry here. You have to grow up in a hurry because if this is your child, you can't act like some jackass talking about the Wonder Man and the Mailman. No matter what your feelings to her are, if you don't like her anymore, or if you think she was cheating on you, the truth of it is, you know you slept with her, you might have a child in the world. As a man, you'd want to find out if you're bringing a child into the world. And if you do, I would think that every instinct in you would be, I want to take care of that child. I don't, you don't know what's happening to her, you don't know who's feeding this child, you don't know who's protecting this child, right? What if, God forbid, it is your child? And you're not doing absolutely nothing for this baby. Nothing. Even How would that make you feel, ever? this test that you take before the show? If it comes back and you're the father, knowing all this time you have not been there for your son, how is that going to make you feel? It's going to make me feel like nothing. Really? And you're telling me that if that's, you can look at a picture and somebody tells you that's your son, that you're going to have no feelings? No. I want to know how you become so soulless. Even at 16, I would think I would have some feeling, some caring to a child I brought into the world. Exactly. You at 16. Me at 16, I was in a group home. You, uh, Who gives a damn? Uh, so you want to be the victim here? You have to take responsibility for your actions. If you are having sex with her and you're not protecting yourself or her, the chances are, real good chance, that you could bring a child into the world. No, because in October she said she was pregnant. I don't give a I don't damn. Care. I don't give a damn about months and dates. She's saying you're the father of this child, and, I'm and you I'm might not. be. And you in October, might be. She's gonna sit there you know and tell what? Me she had listen, a listen. Let me explain to birds and the beastie again. Okay. If you have sex with her and you don't protect yourself, there's a good chance you might bring a child into the world. Don't give me months or dates. Do I gotta draw a little blackboard out here and start drawing pictures for you? Yeah, you do. Yeah, I might have to. Maybe I'll draw it right on your forehead, so Go every ahead. time you look in the mirror, you'll know. I know you're saying that you haven't slept with anybody else, but you, you know what, by the, maybe it's a, it's a miracle baby. You better hope that this is a miracle baby, and that he's not the father. I don't give a damn, because you're not the father, you could have been the father, and you didn't do anything to find out. You found out on my dime. I had to bring you here to find out if you're a father. How pathetic is that? But you took a young girl away from her family, and now she pissed her whole life away because of you? What the hell did she do? You not only ruined one life, you ruined two. I'm How are you running to? Yeah. Because even though I, I don't like you, you're still a human being. And the one life that you get, you're wasting it. And that makes me sick. Get off my stage! Yeah. Go! Come on, Well, if you're going to talk like that, get your ass out of my chair. Stand up. You don't give a damn about these kids? I care about my kids. It's not what, the women I'm with. Saying and doing, do you do anything to kids that you don't see? Uh, if the mothers don't have nothing to do with don't, don't bring them around. That so you don't problem. know what's happening to those children? Your not children. Until the mother say something. Right? The mothers come you up don't, say something. But you yeah. don't know, right? No, I don't. So somebody was abusing your child, you're not there to defend them, right? I guess not. Not unless somebody comes forth and says something, huh? That's why you only have children, so you can be there for them. You, you have children with women that you're committed to. Well, I got four that I take care of all the time, so. Out of 11? Yeah. So the other seven, the other seven, too bad for them, right? Well, too mothers, bad for them. Mothers don't want to bring them out, that's their drama, not mine. What do you teach your children about women? Teach them straight out. It's they're there for the money and that's it. Sex they're there for the money. Sex is what you got to get and get the hell out.
Was that, was that what your mother was for, for the sex of the money? I wouldn't know my mother, so it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Oh, maybe that's the problem. <laughs> Could be, maybe, huh? So now you're going to take it on everybody else. Don't take mommy it on, wasn't, do what I do. Mommy wasn't there for you. Probably not. Oh. Uh, sex to be her, huh? I don't know. Okay, then. But yeah. So when you meet these women, are, are you at least honest with them? That's they're out front. This is how it is. This is the way I am. And they go for it. And they still go at it. So every woman, from the woman number one to woman number ten, you've always been honest up front. You know, oh, hey, this is just the way it is. Gimme, gimme, gimme. We might have a kid. Hey. Why don't you take any protection not to have children? Because I like having my children. And guess what? Every time you I like having one, your children, you don't have seven of them. Huh? You don't seven, even know I, anything. I got umpteen players are going to be coming up. That's all. You know, a lot of your children, none of them live with you. Yeah, so how do you take is, care of your children? I take care of the four that come around that are allowed to come around. Uh, and how do you take care of them? Money wise, love, care, and they come with me every time. And my oh. I'm in a cycle. Oh. Uh, you had nine DNA tests, right? Yes. So, came by, so, came so women have to take you to court to prove that you are the father. No, I asked them to take me to court. You, you need, ask, yeah, you because, because, because I'm not going to give you money. So, right. so, I'm, no paying, money so I'm paying for you. To, I'm, I'm paying for you to have a DNA test. Actually, no, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. No, you're not. The state Mister, doesn't take care of my yeah. kids that I do have. Oh, the state doesn't. No. The state doesn't. Look at the statement out of your mouth. Oh, the parents. state doesn't take care of them. They don't. Who's supposed to take care of them? Others are taking care of them. That beat that. You call it that all you want, but I pay my child support. You pay your child support yep. for two. That's all I got to have. That's all I got nailed for. And you possibly have three other children that you didn't get nailed on DNA test, right? Possibly. So the number Alleged. could be 14. Alleged. What? Shut up. Stop being a moron. You are nothing. You never been nothing. You never will be nothing. Uh, I, I do it on you. my own. I don't need you. He doesn't need yeah, you. Grandma. You know what? That's why your son calls another mad daddy. Ooh. How about that? Maybe because he is. How about that? Maybe because he is. Be a man, because you're a little boy, not this level. Yeah, Be up well, here. So is the other little boy, probably ain't mine either. Oh, the other little boy? Um, how old is your son? Do you even know his birthday? Do you even know his birthday? Nope. Nope, sure don't. That ain't mine. Hold on a second. It's yours. Yeah, no blood tests on this yet. <sighs> you are sick. How dare you? Son, no, hold on, hold on a second, Courtney. Your son's, your son's five years old. Yeah. Well, I know that. Five years, oh, you know that. Yeah, I want seven, I, gotta, I know the ages. All and uh, you've seen him three times. You've only seen him three times. And the last time was two years ago. Yep. Yep. That's being a good father? Uh, I don't want to deal with that all the time. But how about, how about if your son wants to deal with you? My son can deal with me anytime he well, wants without his mother. Oh, really? That's all to it. Without all the mother. It. Are you giving her any money? She don't ask for nothing. She goes and do her own little thing and then comes back and says, Oh, I ain't got Oh, this. so the woman has to ask him. For, you to, for your son she to have no or a place to eat, she's got to ask for it. She wants it, well, she ask, ask, for it. ask him for some yeah, money. Yeah, can I get some money? Because I ain't got diapers for him. I never got them. I never got ways for him. I never got nothing. once in a while? You never... Courtney, ask him for some money. Nothing. You never done nothing. Give me some money, see, you're such a big hot shot. Let me see all your money. You know what? Did you miss the first time? You can take care of your kid on your own, man. The ones I just got rid of, you know that. Why, right? why don't you give her some money then? Because she you said it there. You know what? Come here. Come I don't here. ever notice my kids. I can understand your frustration. Well, let's bring out, here's another. This next woman, she was a child, 17, when she got pregnant by you. Your son this is another seven. child that has not been proven to be mine at all. Oh, okay. and I only, we only met all these women. We met You're once. bragging about having we 14 met once. children. We met once. We have yeah. And this girl, are you taking care of hers? I want word. She has I come over and say something. You know who's taking care of ours? Her mother. But well, it's your responsibility. Well, then why don't they come and ask for some help? She just did. Oh, you said no. Do you think she comes to the house and asks for anything? Well, why not can't you give? Why can't thing. you give money now? She don't even come. Why can't you give money now? Let's see, because you guys got all my. So we'll go back and we'll get it for you. Y'all trying to get me some? You got any money about. here? You got any money? You guys, I ain't you giving you. You, you got your money? I ain't giving that you money. You. I don't want your money. I make my then own they ain't money. It either. My kids get my money. This, this kids get my money. You know what the my kids no get my money. There's no blood test for one of you. No damn blood test. We don't need it. I ain't got nothing to do with that. You know what? Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. So you know, Watch your mouth! Well, you know what? It ain't mine. Got it? You know what? There are kids, your kids, and you know they're your Those kids, are not my and kids. you still aren't paying for them. Maybe not them, but the ones you know about, the ones that you got the blood test, for five, and you're not seven, paying. Yeah. And I seven do years, then. You don't take care of all seven of Seven years, oh, bro. I've proven that is. Seven Hold years on. Is the same Shut up. No, I ain't We're going to bring Brenda. Out. There you go. My wife. Yeah. Ex-wife. The sex woman, you actually married, and you have two children, 11 yep. to 12 years old. Help support them. Well, let's find out long. from Brenda. Yeah, let's let's go. Out. Yeah. You know that? Yeah. Shut your mouth, man. <laughs> you don't, you don't, you don't tell me to shut my mouth. Do you understand me? You don't tell me that. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Do the low. Do the low. Do the low.
You know something? Oh. You're lucky that I have a TV show. Why? Because if I was a cop, I'd be kicking your ass down the street. You know what? You'll be lucky I don't become a Greek Bay and I run and into you. Know, you. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you no, probably no. turns his attention. I don't know what you're talking about. Where, where, where were you? Where were you? For three where? years of the boy's where? life from where? zero to three or four. Where were you? Stop. 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 I'm doing stop. this and doing stop. this. Stop. Where, where were you? Man. Man. I took care of those babies for how long? This is the woman you married. Those are also the women that went and did her own Well, I took care of the babies for three years. You're damn right. She said you never gave me the money. I never had kids. I never had kids. And you did not give it to me. I told you to kiss off. You did not. No, you didn't. You said you were your girl. didn't give you money. When my girl for three years. Years, where were you? I was there. Where? You put the kids up. Where were you? you? On Gay Street and every place else. Where, where were you? Where were you? I was taking care of where my boys. Where were you just a year ago? Taking care of my boys. You're jail, baby. Here. Well, yeah, well, maybe I'd have yeah, stay out of jail if you could help me. Yeah, because you're What, the last two years, three years? Yes, yeah, whatever. You know Thank what? you. What? Hold, hold on, years, hold on, hold on. You know what? You sound like you're 14 years old, Nick. Hey. You know what's scary? That you're bringing children into the world. Yeah. Is this what you're going to... What do you have, I'm little a boy or little girl? A you're a good father. Yes, sir. What makes you a good father? Well, it's my daughter every day. And every while you're day. beating your child's mother. She's never home. She's well, running she's, the streets. She's, she's, she's home enough? Hey, this is the woman you decide... She's never home. Why do you lay down with this woman and pregnant her then? That was before she started acting like that. Oh, she was great before, yeah, she and then awesome. she slid down. She got pregnant, and she was everything awesome. went downhill. I'm sorry, but isn't it true that your daughter at 15 had a cocaine problem? She had a drug problem. She had a drug problem. So I don't know if she was so great, Nick, when you started I hooking up her. with her. She had some issues. You know, know. you didn't know her? No, I did didn't. she ever tell you I had a drug problem? Afterwards, yes. After what? About a month or two after we were dating, yeah, she did tell me. And didn't she say, oh, you know what, you've had enough problems, Let's, we probably shouldn't have a child. Did you think Maybe. having a child with the six child was a good idea? No, we didn't try to have a child. Did you try not to have a child? No. So? It happened. It happens. I love that we're so cavalier about bringing human life into the world. It happens. Isn't it true you threw keys at your girlfriend and hit your baby in the head and you I left the belt on your baby's head? No. Uh, it's not true? No. I don't know, am I just making this up? I'm just making stories out of the top of my head? I didn't throw keys at her. Oh, what'd you do, lava man? I tossed him. And it hit your daughter in the head, right? On accident, yeah. On accident. Wasn't oh, I'm sure that's exactly how it went down. I tossed her my keys and it happened to hit my child in the head and leave a welt on her. Did you do it? You work? No. Why not? Because I'm home with my baby all day. You're home with your baby all day? Yeah. So yeah. who supports your baby? My parents. Your parents. Her mom. Her yeah. mom. Honestly, ma'am, and I don't want to be mean to you. This is your daughter, you've got a granddaughter. But I see this, and I hear the way he talks, and this is your daughter, your granddaughter. Exactly why wouldn't you lock this piece of crap off? Does he act this way at your house? This attitude? Pretty much so. So this is what you want in living in your house? No. This guy wouldn't last three seconds in my house without my foot buried. I would be ashamed. I would be embarrassed if my daughter ever brought anybody home like you. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing you're under my roof. Good for you, man. Good for me, man. You don't address me as man. You will address me as Steve. I'll throw your ass off the stage so fast. Let's bring your daughter, Please. your girlfriend, Please. the mother of your child. Let's bring her out. Let's hear what she has to say. No problem. No problem. I know it's not a problem. It's my show. <laughs> why, did he, you, why did he hit with, you, with his skateboard? Because he was mad that I wanted to go down the block to my friend's house. Down the block. Not even five houses away. Now, this is the woman. This is the mother of your child. Is she lying that no. you hit her with the skateboard? She no. told the truth? Yeah. And why did you hit her with the skateboard? Because she lies constantly. She oh, says, that's good. That's going to straighten her out. She says she's going to her friend's house and she's not. So you picked up a skateboard and you whacked the girlfriend. Yeah. You whacked the mother of your child with the skateboard. Yeah. And why did you do that, Nick? Because I was pissed. I would have thought I'm pissed at you right now. <laughs> I'm pissed at you. Can I go get my skateboard and hit you? Feel free. Yeah. Feel free. Get your skateboard, Steve. Why is it this man not in jail? <laughs> Why would you stay with a man for one second if he hits you with a skateboard, pulls your hair, chokes you? Please don't tell me you love him. There is nothing to love over I there. don't love him anymore. I feel sorry because he has nowhere to go. Who cares? I don't care. He's 21 years old. You know what 21-year-olds can do? Anything that they want. If he doesn't have anywhere to go, who gives a damn? He's beating the mother of his child. Let, let him rot in hell. That's where he can go. <laughs> I guarantee you, there's a place that he can go. 
And all you have to do to put him there is 911. In fact, I don't even want you to call 911. What state do you live in? Chicago, Illinois. You live in Chicago! Great! No, that's wonderful! Because you know what? You, you call me. You call me the next time this punk puts his hands on you. I'm serious. You just made my day. I'm really happy now. I want to introduce you to one of my friends. Hi. Chicago police officer Mike McDermott. Come on up here, Mike. Don't just want to make you smile at me, bum. You live in Chicago, bum? Yeah. Guess what, bum? You, we will be seeing each other probably tomorrow, bum. Okay. Am I clear with you, bum? Can I take him now? Well, I think, I think it would be a wise thing. If somebody would be willing to sign complaints, maybe we'll have our first arrest on stage at the Steve Wilco show. Let's see that real cavalier attitude right now. I've been to jail. Oh, you've been to jail. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we got no problem putting you back in jail. I take really good put on my friend. What? Excuse me? You really take really good care. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Well, I do. They're good for you. Yeah. You're such a wonderful father. How about being wonderful and respectful to the woman that brings that child into the world? She has no respect for me. Maybe Mom. you have to earn respect to get it. Earn respect. I haven't heard anything come out of your mouth that I would respect you. Let's see. She's never home. How about supporting your old kid? How about you getting your ass up and getting a job? She's never home. Why don't you bring get a job? She's outdoors. Why don't you get a job? Because she's never home. I'm talking home. about you. Because she's never home. How can I go look for a job? When maybe I it's a good idea. Kid? Maybe it's a good idea to learn who you're bringing children into the world with. If she's so horrible, maybe you should take some time out and find out who you're laying down with to bring children into the world. I if she's know. so bad, no. You don't get to decide it, find out afterwards. Maybe you should spend some time with somebody, figure out who they are, get into a committed relationship without violence before you start bringing into the children into the world. You can't stand her. You don't get to stand her and say you're a good father while you're committing acts of violence with your child in the house. That's not being a good father. I don't know who the hell taught you or what you think is being a good father, but you looking in the mirror, you're not going to see one. You know what? Look into my eyes and you'll see a good father. Her be a good mom, but you... All I'm going to do is make sure the next time you put your hands on her, that you get locked up. That's my promise to you. Get off my stage! Steve, I would never do that to my daughter, and I have no idea where well, this is coming from. Don't sit down on my stage, either. Don't, <laughs> don't sit down on your stage, is that what you're saying? Excuse me? Did you say don't sit down on your yeah, stage? Yeah, don't sit on my stage. What have I done? You haven't asked me yet. Um, I don't need. I don't need to ask you. Oh, I see. I'm I, already condemned. No, you're not condemned. You know I don't know where she's you know getting this from. Did I you, have no idea where she's getting this from. Did you drop this your daughter off at a guy's happen. house? She was molested. I will agree. You're yes, not answering my horrible. question. No, I didn't drop her off. They picked her up. Oh, yes, that, that makes no, a difference. That no, makes a difference. No. You, you your... listen for one moment. No, you it listen to me. Let me ask her you a question. It was a Did husband you... and a wife that picked her up. I Why knew would you let your daughter stay with the guy overnight? I trusted them. Why I actually believed they Why? were friends. Why? Why did you trust them? Because they were friends. I saw them. Why did you let the them to take your child? They asked in Stormy because they, they, not him. Okay, not him. somebody asked me. Did you have your child? The way I no. Did... No, you can't have my child. You know? environment we didn't have this crap we did not have this crap i never in a million near, years believed something now i you know grew the up wickedness. in an era where they didn't have this crap now what i know the wickedness in this world young man what era is that oh there is wickedness in this world it's just oh, I, I didn't realize it and it was at her expense and my expense at your expense at her expense and my so expense. you're a victim yes i am so while you were out getting high... I, I wasn't getting high. Oh, she doesn't know what she's talking about. What? So you weren't doing drugs? No, not at that time. I did do them before she was born. You look like somebody that has done a few drugs in your I life. I have, yes. Oh, so I you... did speed. Yes, I did. Far before when she was born. And it's terrible. And now she's suffering what are you horribly. For, what are you doing and now you bring her on here and Why you join us out here. Your daughter wants my help to confront you. Well, I wish she would confront me. I she's already the, told her. She's going to get the chance. Yeah, because I've already told her. Out your life. She said that she's been talking to me. Is she lying about me. all the physical abuse? She told uh, me she's that. been lying about the physical abuse. Is she lying about that? Yeah. I pulled her hair from time to time. But for the most part, we really had a good life. But you don't ask about that part. How well did you know these people that you let your daughter go I with? knew them quite well at the time. But not enough to remember his last name, though. I don't remember it now, no. And maybe how stupid and ridiculous that sounds, it's true. I don't, 
I have names of the officers in my address book. Oh, that's good. You yeah, got yeah, the officer's yeah. name, but you don't have the offender's name. Well, why would I write his name in my damn address book? I wouldn't. We had people take kids. We went to people's houses as kids. In the place I grew up, that's what you're not understanding. We didn't know about this stuff. And it's so disgusting, I can't believe that it happened. But it did. Why isn't this man in jail? That I'd like to know, too. And maybe you can help that happen. And why don't you remember his name? He did it to you! Oh, my God. Get off my stage! Get off my stage right now! Get off! How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? You're an eight-year-old! You are a... You're supposed to be an eight-year-old! You're a son! How dare you? Oh, my God! You question your eight-year-old daughter how she didn't remember? An eight-year-old girl raped? You're the mother, you had custody of her, you had her, yeah, and you don't I remember. Say. And then you turn around and I you blame I just want to know why she child. not remember his name. She's blaming me for not you remembering the last name. How day. would an eight-year-old, don't you think it was so horrific? So, oh, my God. So, she was so traumatized? You're a horrible person. Even most eight-year-olds don't know. You're a horrible person. Well, say what you will. God you know and I know, someday, and that's all that I know. My kids I know won't the be truth. Me I know what happened. happened. And Your I feel terrible here. about what Your happened here, but here. I can't change it. I can't fix it. it. You know what? And now she will never see me again because she won't want to. Thank God. Thank you. Thank God. Goodbye. Yeah, you can say that, God. Go ahead. Get your ass out of here. Go. I actually apologize. For her actually saying that to you. That's okay. Wanting to know what, what eight-year-old would know anybody's last name, anyway. let alone the guy that she doesn't know and the guy that's committing a horrific crime to her. Yeah. I cannot believe, you know what? I'm not, uh, that's you, you know, I hope she got in hell. I'm sorry. No, I I know you came to the show today and you wanted answers. Yeah. The one thing we can give you some resolution to is you wanted to know if she traded you for drugs or money. Yeah. And we gave her a lie detector test, and that part of it was she talked when she was asked, did she trade you for drugs or money? She passed that part. <laughs> but it doesn't matter to me. I don't care. You don't. If a man does that to your daughter, that name stays burned in your brain forever. You have to know why. There wasn't something happening. Why this guy is in jail? You don't get to say, I don't know. You find out. You didn't do anything to protect your daughter. Shame on you. If you have a good father, you're, you're luckier than most people. Yeah. Is your father an yeah, audience? Lucky. Yeah, he's right there. Yeah, come on, sir. I understand because of what happened to your daughter that you actually started a non-profit charity for missing abused children. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about that? We have to turn our children safely, and uh, we uh, started it about five years ago um, and started building that. Stormy's working with me, um, as well as going to college and working an extra job, too. And, and uh, uh, basically, we, uh, we just wanted to try to make a difference in the, in the world. You know, most people don't get a chance to do that, so I decided to volunteer my time and to try to do, make some type of a difference in it. The one thing I like is after dealing with your ex-wife or whoever she is to you, you had a daughter with her, I'm glad that you were able to take a tragedy and do something positive from it. Yeah. And both of you are heroes for doing that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is your hero. I'm glad we have the same Thank you. Thanks for taking care of it. Thanks for getting out of that situation. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Did your father's friend... Oh,